what is one piece of advice you wish you had received earlier in your career? Um, you know what? I have to tell you, I'm going to turn that question on its head. Um, I'm going to tell you the advice I did get early in my career, Ooh. that I was lucky enough to get early in my career. Um, uh, when I was like 22 years old, I, I met Steve Bissett for the first time, legendary Swamp Thing illustrator and uh, extraordinary writer in his own right, Steve Bissett, who had been through hell uh, as an illustrator, as so many artists of his generation and before had been. Um, and Steve was incredibly helpful to me in giving me advice about um, sort of how to handle uh, working with other people, collaborations, professional relationships uh, more than anything. Uh, and also, you know, basically the number one piece of advice he gave me was understand what you're signing, read what you're signing, understand it. If you don't understand it, find out what it means and go in with your eyes open because, you know, then if something happens that you are unhappy about, you knew that that was a possibility when you signed. So you have to, it, it, for your mental health in this business, it behooves you to understand. Uh, so, you know, if something comes along later, I, I, I'm not going to talk about who, but there was a big article that was going to be, that was going to come out at one point about a, a certain uh, uh, creator. And uh, and I remember having this conversation with, with the person working on it, just saying, you guys are completely crazy because everybody involved in this conversation knew what they were signing. They knew what they were getting into. They understood the rules. You can't go back and bitch about it now. You know? So um, that isn't to say that there aren't things that are fair or unfair. It's just to say that that piece of advice has saved my soul so many times. Uh, and it's helped me because I've never gone into a professional relationship where it, it didn't have something in writing, um, where I didn't put something in writing just to, you know, just to make sure we all understand each other so that later, if there's a disagreement, we can say we put this down for a reason, you know. So that's my that's the advice I did get. That's wow, Mike. Mike, true or false? You always read to the bottom of the contract and know exactly what you're signing. True or false? That is absolutely false. Absolutely. It is it is something that I have started to do recently, but usually it was contracts there just sign your name and you're all good when it turns out it's not always all good no 